Hello, Wesley Church. Yes, that really is a kayak paddle on the altar. You'll have to come out Sunday and see what that's all about. Well, here at Wesley Church, there seems to be a moving of God's Holy Spirit that is calling us individually and as a body, it's calling us to pray. We've seen two prayer groups arise over the last couple of months within the congregation. One meets in the day and one meets in the evening and the groups are open to anyone and you can come and pray silently or aloud. What's more, there's a beginning of a prayer class. It seems like this is where we're supposed to go with this prayer movement that the Spirit has begun. Now, this is not a class on how to use fancy words or even how to pray in public or pray aloud. The course describes itself as a simple guide for normal people. It's about simply having a conversation with God. It's not about any kind of religious performance. Simply prayer, a conversation with God. If you would hear that Debbie and I rarely spend time together and that I don't listen to her and that we are not much on speaking terms, you might question the quality of our marriage, even though we have a marriage certificate. The same is true of our relationship with God. We might possess a baptismal certificate showing that we're a Christian, but Christianity is really about communicating, about ongoing relationship with our amazing God. I find one reason that people avoid prayer is a feeling that they don't know the words. They don't, not to, sure what to say. They can't formulate the senses the way they think they should. But Jesus seemed to advocate for simple prayer. Think how short the Lord's prayer is. It seems that our prayer life is at its best when it's at its simplest. In Matthew 6, 7 and 8, uh, Jesus is talking about prayer and he says this, When you pray, don't pour out a flood of empty words as the Gentiles do. They think that by saying many words, they'll be heard. Don't be like them because your father knows what you need before you ask. Whoa, if that isn't a relationship conversation, then what is? Asking God for something not because he's unaware, but because we just want the conversation. That's what Jesus is saying. Prayer is not about the right words or enough words or big words or theological words. Prayer is simply a conversation with the person who loves you the most in the whole universe. And having that conversation in an open and real way with God, aloud or silently, it's one of the most amazing experiences that any one of us can have. Now this course is gonna run for eight weeks. And if you can't make every one of them, just come to the ones that you can attend. We'll begin on Sunday at 10.30, Sunday the 17th of September, not this Sunday. And it'll happen in the sanctuary where we'll watch a video. It'll introduce the subject for that day. And then we'll have some discussion around the subject matter, the, the aspect of prayer that we're looking at. And anyone who would like to pray, I'm sure there'll be an opportunity to pray, but that's, that's optional that you won't be asked to do anything you don't want to do. Think about it. What if an hour a week for eight weeks could totally renew your faith life? What if it could connect you with the God of the universe, with your Savior, like you've never been connected before? Wouldn't it be worth a try? The class starts September 17th, 1030, right here in the sanctuary. Come see what God is inviting you into. Well, thanks again for listening this week. And as always, I hope to see you Sunday. Thank you.